Welcome to our tutorial about positioning your sketch. I've already created a part and I'm just going to bring it into my assembly. Let's look for part 44 and click open. I'll drop it about here. Let's zoom out a little. Now I'm going to insert a sketch on the top plane. For this example, I'm going to use a regular sketch. Right click, insert, activate the rectangle tool, and something like this. Center line. Right click and select to close the tool. Let's select my new line and the origin point and add a midpoint relation. OK, dimension tool. Let's say 250 millimeters. Accept. And here 150 millimeters. Accept and exit the sketch. Let's click in blank space to deselect everything. Before I apply mates, since I brought in this feature first, SolidWorks automatically fix this component in space. The fix mate is indicated by the letter F that precedes the name of the node in the Feature Manager design tree. I can change this by right clicking and selecting Float. And now I'm able to move the component. Notice the minus sign in the node name. This indicates that the component isn't constrained. Let's activate the mate command. I'll select this edge and this line. Accept. Now this edge and this line. Accept. Cancel out of the tool. Now the component is fully constrained. I'll press down the control key and drop a second component here. Let's select this line. Activate the mate command and this line. Accept. And let's select this edge and this line. And accept. Cancel out of the tool. Now if I go ahead and edit my sketch, let's say by making the dimensions 180. OK. By 100. OK. And let's exit the sketch. Rebuild. And we see that the components change position as well. Let's right click on the sketch and select Edit Sketch Plane. I'm going to use the front plane instead. OK. Let's rebuild. And the components change position again. This concludes our tutorial about positioning your sketch.